Oh, <clears throat> okay. What do we need to work on? So usually my fault, like with my friends, they tell me my leaning is poor. That, yeah. That's, that's usually my issue. Um, I usually get bullied, like that clutch situation. I probably would have died a couple of times if you weren't there. There's a couple of things um, with you. The first thing is you're not, I want you simplifying league a little bit with Garen. If, if you're running away from a play, just Q immediately. If you're about to exactly. take a bunch of damage or a bunch of CC, just mm -hmm. W right away. Mm -hmm. Because what's happening is like, I saw you, you would get like Warwick was on you and is about to CC you and your W didn't come out until after. You need to just use it preemptively, not not in response to something. Just turn okay. it on before, like right before you take damage, turn it on. That'll help a ton it. with Garen. Yeah, just do yeah. it early. So how's your auto attack resets? So if you walk up, auto attack reset me. Uh, so that's an auto attack reset. Auto Q. Uh, auto Q. Okay. Should be snappier than that. Uh -huh. Like you're playing an arcade game. Like you're hitting somebody with an uppercut. Okay. Anytime someone goes up to farm, that's your bread and butter combo. All right. Practice auto attack. So I'm going to show you. Don't do it to me yet. Use your stop command. Okay. Just press your stop command. So watch how snappy mine is. Okay. okay. Watch. See that? See how fast? Yeah. So it's uh -huh. as the sword lands. Go ahead and try it. As the sword lands, you Q. See, that was too oh, early. No. Uh, yeah. That's too early. Ready one more? Okay. Watch. See, as soon as the sword hits you, I Q. Uh -huh. Try it again. That was good. That's every time if you're in auto attack range and you want to uh -huh. Q somebody, start with an auto. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So first, I'm going to I'm going to bully you on this one. If you go anywhere near the minions, I'm going to get level 2 first. Mm -hmm. Okay? For now, I just want you focused on stealing the farm that you can take and then playing defensively. Who's on offense right now, me or you? Oh, uh, you. Because I have the minions, right? Right. So be very careful with the minions that you take. You can always queue away. Exactly. Yes. Now, once Garen, once somebody's a level ahead of you, they can play really aggro. You'll get your level up, but just make sure that you play safe. Now, same thing. Big waves getting bigger. So it's getting worse. If you fight me on this wave, you lose. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I'm testing to see if you're going to auto attack me and all these minions or not. Make sure, yeah, I was going to say, make sure you don't give up your cannon, though. No. Now. <laughs> Who's on offense? Who's on defense? Not me. So Not if offense. I go too close to you, are you going to do anything about it? Use your pot. Where's your Q? If I go anywhere near you, it should be a Q. You're letting me farm in front of you. Remember what I did to you? I didn't let you have a single one, did I? Not for free. No. See, if I drag the trade out too long, I'll start losing it because of minions. Mm -hmm. You're too close to tower here. Don't be doing that fancy pants under the tower stuff until you're sure about what you're doing. Now, since you take all that damage, it's pretty much just a stat check at this point, right? So you would need to build your health up. If you go near, look, you can't go near like that. Because okay. see, you were about all you had to do is just wait in the brush. 
because your health is going to grow anyways. Right. So in order to even go near me, you're going to need to get your health back. So right now, it's really important to avoid any damage that you can and just build up mm -hmm. your health. I can't get any minions. Here. I know. This right is what it's it. like. That's what it's like, right? Yeah. Because you, I'm level six. So if you get out of line... Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm just... I'm showing you what high pressure is. Oh. So you can understand. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Oh. So, <clears throat> the idea here is that anytime I walk up to you, you got to be mm -hmm. prepared with your W right away, or you have to cue me at the same time. Oh. Let's leave. Try again. This is good, right? This is helping yeah. you out. Yeah, yeah. Now, with Garen, you need to realize that there's going to be different types of matchups, but the rules are still the same. If you're on offense and you have health, you can mm -hmm. play aggro. If you don't oh, have, yeah, if you don't have offense, then right. obviously you have to give that farm away. I, so I have to keep count of the minions. I think that's what I'm not doing. Now, like I. I don't know when I'm on offense and defense. Oh, it's just because the, if the wave's at your back, right? Like here, let me let me uh, let me show you in a more articulate way. Let's say we're in lane. Now, basically, no matter what happens, minions are gonna meet right here. Okay. Okay. I hate these random ads. I need I need to just buy this thing. And get this ads off my screen. So, the minions meet right in the middle of the football field. Okay. Whoever autos, so let's say I auto, I'm going to get rid of the practice dummy. Let's say I auto the minions one time. Okay. Just one time. I will have the push for the rest of the lane phase. Okay. So okay. you auto one time and then you just last hit. This is important because I want you to see how the lane plays from here on. Oh. Whatever happens, I'm on offense. Unless the opponent autos the minion wave as well to keep it stable. Oh. Uh -huh. Right? All that's right. happening here is that you're building up a push because look how big the push gets off of one auto attack. Right. It gets pretty big, right? Yeah. That's one auto. I'm literally, you see me, I'm just last hitting the minions. Like right. they were going to die anyways. You see what I'm? Do you see what I'm getting at here? So yeah, yeah. the wave is getting big. So how can we use this information? Well, the first thing is when you come into any lane, you need to ask yourself right away, like, can I get the push going? So if we can get the push going, if we can get the push going, then we should. If we think that we can kill this opponent easily. Thankfully, you're in low elo. So most of the opponents you can kill pretty easily. The wow. problem is when you're... And this is why I'm showing you this so you can try to incorporate it. You are... Every time we've played, you let me auto the wave in the beginning and you don't auto it. This is why I harp on the idea that like the game is about waves first, minions first, champions second. Okay. All right. The minions are our board. We can manipulate the board. Oh. So if so I, I should auto first. So if we both are autoing, auto, 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 then uh -huh. it becomes a game of, you know, when can I sneak an auto attack on the enemy? So if we're both autoing, occasionally as you auto, I'm going to go like this and then right. back away. And it's going to be a test. So what I want you to do then. On this next one, is I want you to push as fast as you can. So I'm going to show you it in, in kind of like uh, in normal speed. This is going to be hard. It's a lot harder than it looks. It looks obvious. So this is what I want you to do versus me, okay? I want you to just watch me. I'm going to show mm -hmm. you optimal how this is going to go. So basically what's going to happen is we're both going to be in lane, okay? Minions yeah. going to meet in the middle. I'm immediately, I use a left click to push. 
Mm -hmm. I use A left click a lot. So all this means is I just A left click every animation. So as soon as the wave gets here, I'm gonna go like this and start pushing at you. Notice how there is no downtime in this push at all. Notice how there's no wasted animation. Right. It's always, every auto goes through. Do you see how there's no downtime during this push? Yeah. Now, you can also mix in cues to get the farm. Mm -hmm. And then you push. I'm doing this in the first wave. I'm going to do this against you to show you what happens if your opponent fights you for the push. Okay? Okay. Okay. You're going to see how if I'm autoing faster than you, I'm going to just automatically win every trade. Now, I hope you're you're taking in some little mental notes. One of the notes that yeah. I want you to remember is that notice how every time you go for a minion, I'm on top of it, right? Uh -huh. Right. If you're if you're pushing into somebody and they're a melee champ, I want you being willing to to start with that. It's uh -huh. going to be scary in some lanes you might get shit on for trying this. But you're going to start navigating, like, how how do I make them earn this minion? Sometimes just making them throw an ability is good, too. Wasting mana or wasting a cooldown, that's good, too. All right, so what we're going to do is you've got a little health lead on me, so it's perfect. What we're going to do is we're both going to push. And okay. I'm going to show you what I mean. you got to be autoing the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. Animation, that Garen attack speed rhythm, right? Just kind of get into the rhythm of how fast auto attack is. See how there's no downtime in it? Mm -hmm. But it, see, now watch. Oh, no. Do you see? Uh, I should have I should have used pot. Yeah, I, I do see. I was just... Now, now even if you slow. live, though, look at the position. Look at the wave first. Look. Right. Even if you live, look at what's happening. Remember right. the situation you were in before? Look how I'm standing. This is what... Uh -huh. This is what I'm trying to show you. Is that if I get the push... You're in this position. This position blows, right? Yeah. So if you're allowed to push into somebody, we want this position. This. Where the this guy push. is blocking minions this and is he's just... the position. Yes. I'm, on, I'm always on my position. Yes. And uh, my opponent is in your position, right? Yes. Usually. Yes. That's what I'm trying to get you to see why it happens, right? Right. I want to show you something real quick before we wind this down too. Um, I'm going to okay. share, my screen is still being shared. Go ahead and leave real quick. Mm -hmm. I just want to hammer home a point. Now we didn't go over range matchups, but the long story short with range matchups is that once you're basically you're on defense from the jump, you can't really mm -hmm. push into them, Right. play really defensively, give up farm if you need to. Then mm -hmm. once you, once it transitions to offense, right? If they go anywhere near the wave, just all in them. Right. Instead of waiting around. I've done coachings with this before, but I want to hammer home one more thing before I go. And, and basically now you'll be able to go into your games with more of a laning plan that you can start building off of on your own. Right. Right. Because right now you're still in the, you're still in the beginnings of learning. Uh -huh. <clears throat> My goal is to make sure that you understand like why lanes are doing what they're doing and how you can... Uh -huh how you can start thinking about the game and start building up your idea of how to play. Right. So I'm loading up now. Uh, I just want to show you real fast. Let's say your opponent's really passive. Okay. And right now you're playing really passive because you don't know any better. A right. lot of these times, right? Well, now you understand, mm -hmm. like if you go into a lane and start pushing, you can get priority or you can get control of the lane. But here's another little detail that I really want to hammer home. All right. And that detail is if your opponent's playing like a bitch, you don't have to rush the push. Okay. So let's say your opponent is a bitch, right? And he's just sitting back here. He's not doing anything. He's just playing back here. So uh -huh. what we need to do, 
say you auto one time and, he, and you keep walking at him and he keeps not doing anything. You don't notice how I'm never autoing the wave when I don't want to, right? Uh -huh. You need to remember this, that you just last hit here and really deliberately aim for that because he's going to spend more and more time on defense. Do you see how this works? Yeah. You don't need to push because he's not doing anything. You don't need to hard shove because he's not doing anything. Right. He's literally just sitting there chilling. If he's doing that, that means build up big waves like so and really focus mm. on your farm. This will get you all your CS because he's not challenging you. Right. Right. He's just standing back here in, in no man's land. So you'll focus on getting your CS. Oh. And, and if he keeps doing that, that's great because that gives you big shoves like these. Now, once the wave goes near tower, if he's playing really scared like this still, just shove it under tower at the last second like this. Mm -hmm. And what this will do is it'll give you a timer to ward, to invade. So you can go like this and go into someone's red and try to kill them. Mm -hmm. Because what's he going to do? He can't do anything, right? He's under tower. If right. he follows you, he loses all this XP. And notice, yeah. even though this wave's under tower, you're not going to actually lose that much for running around. Watch what happens. You don't really lose anything. You lose like a minion. But look how much time we have to run around the map. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the wave's going to come to us. Now, as a rule, I wouldn't roam around this much because I normally want to linger and get the XP. But you could do a ward like this. You could ward down here. You could, you know, say you show up over here and at the last second, you see a uh, jungler that's starting or just about to finish his red and you're right here. He doesn't know you're here because you got a wave under tower. And then you just do one of these and kill him. Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So... The takeaway here that I'm trying to to get at is that basically Minions have spawned. it's really important that you choose how we're going to operate the minion wave. All right. Mm -hmm. If you think you if you're cocky and you want to learn like melee matchups, come into every matchup and just start pushing. But as soon as you're ahead of the guy, start doing this. Right. And then do those little trades and then go back to just last hitting. And once you're ahead, then he's got to do the thing where he has to farm in front of us, right? Mm -hmm. And you see that, how we can just stop on every minion. That's what I really want to hammer home is this parking on the minion is really huge. Because yeah, you said it yourself, it. you're like, I can't get a minion. It's like, yes, yeah. because I actually stand on them. And make it so if you want, like, if you want this minion, you almost always have to think about it because I'm always going to be there. Right. Every minion that's dying, my eyes go to that minion. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it so difficult. That's why when you lane against somebody good, you're just like, what the fuck is even going on? Right. It's like, I can't farm. I can't, I can't do anything. And then same rules. If you go for a minion that you're not supposed to, right? I just do one of these and... And chunky, right? Right. So, <clears throat> there you go. In summary, know what you want to do with the lane. Know how you want to do, like, how you want to operate the, the wave management, right? So, if you want to push, if you want to play defense or whatever. But for now, since you're new, assume everyone's bad. Okay. Assume everyone's bad and try to get slow pushes going, like I was doing to you. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I okay, do. perfect. All right, thank you so much.